You might have seen headlines warning of a potential mega tsunami hitting the coast of North America. Well, it turns out some of these reports might be off the mark. Mega tsunami. First of all, that's that's not a scientific term. Um, it, it doesn't mean anything. It just sounds really scary, and so some people like to use it. So, why are people talking about a mega tsunami in the U.S.? Here's why. A geologist named Tina Dura from Virginia Tech published this study together with her colleagues in April this year. They looked at two processes, how the land moves up and down uh, when an earthquake happens uh, offshore and sea level rise due to climate change. And normally those two processes are studied separately. So for the first time, she looked at both problems together to quantify exactly how they will compound one another. That study maps out how much more of Washington, Oregon, and Northern California will be at risk of flooding should a major quake strike in 2023 and 2100. In the worst case scenario, we're looking at an additional 17,000 residents affected in the year 2100. That is to say, the earlier an earthquake strikes, the less damage there will be. In between earthquakes, the land is actually rising very slowly but enough that it can partially or entirely keep up with sea level rise. And we don't notice any changes. But then when the earthquake happens, all of that is undone. The more the land level rises between earthquakes, the more it's going to fall when the next earthquake occurs. And there will have been more sea level rise between now and whenever that time is that, that will exacerbate the problem. What about the tsunami? What did the study say about it? It's well known. Every time the fault off the coast of North America, off the coast of the Pacific Northwest, produces a large earthquake, that earthquake is followed by a tsunami. So the new information here is really that what we thought previously was the worst case scenario, when we add in the effects of sea level rise, it might actually be worse than that. So what this all means is that it's not actually a mega tsunami that may occur in the US, but rather massive flooding due to sea level rise and land level changes due to major earthquakes. 